Hello, it's Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services in Plymouth, Indiana. And in this video, we will discuss a tail rotor malfunction referred to as stuck pedal. What this means is something has happened that causes you to no longer uh, be able to have control over the pitch of the tail rotor. You will handle this emergency uh, by doing a slide on landing. And it is very important to know that an auto rotation will not work for this type of emergency. Let's start by drawing a helicopter from overhead view. And for the purpose of this lesson, we'll pretend it's a counterclockwise rotating helicopter, such as an Enstrom or a Robinson, because the tow rotor is on the left pushing to the right towards the tail boom, countering the torque of the counterclockwise rotating rotor system. Now, if you get a, a pedal that is stuck in a high pitch position, uh, so let's say the, uh, the pedal became stuck when you were applying a lot of pressure, which required a lot of left pedal which in this particular helicopter, being a counterclockwise rotating helicopter, the left pedal increases the pitch in the tail rotor. Some would call that the power pedal as well. So if your left pedal is stuck, that means you have a lot of pitch in the tail rotor to counter a lot of torque. And so if you were coming in on approach, with that helicopter, eventually the helicopter would want to start to rotate to the left because you didn't have enough power to counter all the pitch that you have in that tail rotor. If you have a stuck power pedal or left pedal, then you will want to make a steeper approach using more power than you would on a shallow approach to counter that added pitch that you have stuck in the tail rotor. As you approach your landing spot, your landing will be a slide on landing. You will keep effective translational lift, slide the helicopter onto the ground, manipulating the throttle to control the heading of the helicopter. In other words, as you add throttle to the helicopter, you'll be adding torque to the rotor system, which will cause the nose to go right. As you roll the throttle off, you're reducing torque on the rotor system, call it causing the nose to go left, and you would slide it on. As you slide on, and we will talk about slide on landings in another video, the brakes on a slide on landing are lowering the collective gently. Do not make the mistake on a slide on landing by pulling back on the cyclic to stop the helicopter because that will not slow the helicopter down. All that will do is tilt your rotor, rotor system towards the tail boom and could cause a tail strike in some helicopters. Now if you have a stuck right pedal in a counterclockwise rotating system, that means you do not have very much pitch on the tail rotor to counter torque up in the main rotor system. If you have a stuck right pedal, you will want to do a shallow approach because you are using less power and it will require less tow rotor. As you approach the shallow slide on, again, you will keep effective translational lift and you will slow the helicopter after touchdown by gently lowering the collective, adjusting your heading with the throttle. Again, add throttle, the nose will want to go to the right, reduce throttle, the nose will go to the left. What would cause a stuck pedal in a helicopter? It could be a linkage that's jammed, it could be something stuck underneath the floor where the pedals are rotating, uh, a number of things. It could be a broken cable on some helicopters, such as the Enstrom and the Hiller 
uh, they are operating the tail rotor with two very small cables that run all the way back to the tail rotor from the front of the helicopter. If one of those cables break, you will be stuck with being able to pull the pitch in one direction only. And that direction would determine whether you have a stuck right or left pedal. It is important to know that if you have a stuck left pedal or power pedal and you're doing the steeper approach preparing for that slide on and you feel that it is not set up properly you can do a go around you can bring the power back in and do a go around and try again because you have adequate pitch stuck in the tail rotor that will counter the torque that you are adding to do a go, to, go around. If you have a stuck right pedal doing a shallow approach to slide on and you do not like uh, the way the landing is looking, you are stuck with that landing. You cannot bring the power back in and do a go around because you do not have enough pitch to counter the torque of the main rotor system when you bring in the power to do the go around. One thing you need to know, and we mentioned this before, no auto rotation. When you go to your check ride and the examiner asks you about this type of emergency, stuck pedal, do not tell him you will be doing an auto rotation. You can fill your check ride and it won't work. When you get rid of all that torque to enter an auto rotation, if you have pitch stuck in this tail rotor, then you will not be able to get rid of the uh, pitch in the tail rotor and you will have a yaw in the auto rotation. So it is important to know the difference between the tail rotor emergencies. We talked in another video about total loss of tail rotor whether it be the shaft broke or the tail rotor gearbox broke, you lost the tail rotor altogether at altitude. You enter an auto rotation with that emergency. There is no other way to handle that emergency. Stuck pedal, you cannot do an auto rotation. This has to be a slide on. Do not get the two confused. Again, my videos are unedited. I'm teaching you on a whiteboard just as I would if you were right here at Plymouth, Indiana preparing for your check ride. And if you like the video, click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos on helicopter ground school topics for free, then subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Have a good evening.